In this video clip, we're going to look at the same interest add-on instrument for which we calculated the maturity value in the previous one. But now this video clip trades again in the secondary market on the 25th of March and it trades at 11%. And now we want to ask you to calculate the consideration when it trades in the secondary market. Now if we look at the formula to calculate the consideration, it is this one. Price or consideration is equal to maturity value divided by in brackets 1 plus I times N. Close the brackets. I'm going to write it down and then we're going to discuss it. So price is equal to maturity value divided by 1 plus I times N. Right. Now if you look at this formula, you can see that you need to know what the maturity value is of the interest add-on instrument if you want to calculate the consideration at which it trades in the secondary market. You also need to know the interest rate at which it trades in the secondary market and you need to know N, which is the term left until maturity. And from the 25th of March until the 30th of April, there are 36 days. These number of days we will always provide to you. Right. Now, sometimes when you are asked to calculate the consideration of an interest add-on instrument trading in the secondary market, you will not have already calculated the maturity value. So sometimes they, you will need to do two steps. To calculate the consideration, you have to do step one, which is calculating the maturity value. And then you go to step two, which is calculating the consideration using the maturity value that you calculated in step one. Now to calculate the maturity value, you use the interest rate at which it is issued. You will remember it was issued at 10%. And you will use the full term from issue until maturity. So to calculate N, you're going to use the full term, which is 61 days, and divide out by 365. That's what we did in the previous video clip. Now, to calculate the consideration, step two, you will then use that maturity value, and you will use, so you will use maturity value, you will use the interest rate, and now we are using the interest rate at which it trades in the secondary market. So for this instrument, it is going to be 11%. On the 25th of March, it trades at 11%. And you are going to use N, which is now the period left until maturity, so not the full period, only from the date of the secondary transaction until the maturity date, so that is 36 days. So to calculate N, you're going to use 36 divided by 365. Right, so let's do that calculation now. We know what the maturity value is because we've already calculated it in the previous video clip. 1016712,33 divided by, in brackets, 1 plus I, which we say is the I in the secondary market, so 11%, 0, 0,11. And now we're going to use the period left, the portion of the year left until maturity, so 36 divided by 365.
right so I'm first going to write that down and now I'm going to calculate the amount that in brackets starting from the back so it is 36 divided by 365 times 0 0.00 plus 1 and that gives you 1,010849 and then in order you can now go back and say 101671233 divided by 1,010849 that would give you the correct answer but because you have this number on your calculator now what I always do is to find the inverse of that. So the inverse is 1 over x. So I push to go to inverse. And then I just multiply with times 1016712.33. And that gives me 1005800. So 1,005,800 rand and 90 cent. That is the price at which this instrument is going to trade in the secondary market. So on the 25th of March, when it trades at 11%, the buyer is going to pay 1,005,800 and 9 cents for it going to keep that there because we're going to use that in the next video clip when we calculate the return on this interest add-on instrument.